Welcome back to the Inanna Sports Arena right here in Basic City. Beautiful Wednesday as we close out your doubleheader. And it is the Sea Lions at 4-3 in the standings. Looking pretty cool. Still have a shot at making it to the semifinals. And they need every win they can get. And they will take on the Master Butchers, a team that will not make it to the semifinals with a 1-6 win-loss record. But both teams are coming off big wins as they meet today. Uh, this is the final few games of the Invitational Conference at the Spikers Turf right here on One Sports Plus and Pilipinas Live. I'm Eric Kipan alongside Noreen Go. Uh, we'll be joined by Bailey Sava for just a little bit. Uh, for the uh, Sea Lions, Noreen, they're coming off a win after back-to-back -back losses. Same thing with uh, the Meet uh, Master Butchers. They uh, came off six straight losses before finally winning against the Brotherhood. But, you know, for TGJC Navy, it's a different arena because it's a must-win for them. For Martelli, you know, they just want to play the sport in true. All right, let's take a look at the team standings as we give you, again, the final few games of the eliminations before we hit the semifinals. Well, in all of our matches, we did say the format is four teams will make it to the next round. You can see with the asterisk, um, Signal Crisscross at UD and Steel have already made it to the semifinals. And the last spot is being tightly cont contested. So it's about shocking for That's position right. at this point of the competition. So, and it's three teams as well. So it's going to be stiff competition uh, between uh, those three teams, uh, DLSU, Echo Oil, Navy, and of course, Savoj. Now let's talk about the last game of the Sea Lions where they took down Savoj actually in four sets. A very impressive win for the Sea Lions. Well, when we talked about the standings and uh, the jockeying for position, for me, this game is the biggest box out ever yeah. by a team. PGJC Navy came up with a win against a team who's also vying for that fourth spot, right? And they won in four sets. It wasn't easy. Yeah. It was a tough match. If you look at the set scores, 25-23, 22-25, then 25-20, and 25-22. It was tough, but PGJC Navy just pulled out the right stops. Right. And if you look at the numbers, it was a pretty sound game for PGJC Navy. They're, they were out spiked. But still, 54 was a decent number, but it's the blocking. The blocking really spelled the huge or the biggest difference in that game. And it was a very important win for Navy. And the reason we say it's also a big win for the Sea Lions is because of the fact that Saboj beat uh, the HD yeah, Spikers. Yeah, yeah. So they're a really yep. good team. And it took five players in double digits. One of them, Peter Kiel, for the Sea Lions, for uh, the Sea Lions to win against Saboj. Well, we always say, you know, when you talk about Navy, you talk about uh, Toto de la Vega, Greg Delore, and Peter Kiel. And Peter Kiel came up really big time. He just showed us really that defense makes a lot of difference yeah. in a match. He, he scored 14 points. And we have to say, seven attacks, there you go, and seven blocks. That's a lot of blocks in a match. And he's just, he was just a mammoth at mm -hmm. the net. And he's showing us that, you know, his blocking is going to create havoc in, in the match. And Peter Kale, they're going to go to him today and see that his defense will hold. All right, now let's talk about the Martelli meets master butchers now this team six straight losses to start the invitational conference but they won big against the chi chi brotherhood and that was the three sets as well yeah a lot of people were surprised eric that it went three sets everyone is saying because a battle of winless teams it's going to go the distance maybe five sets but no martelli just showed that they were a cut above chi chi in that match we have to say winning in straight sets as you said 25 19 25 20 and 25 19 so they showed that, you know, throughout the conference, they have improved. And if you look at the numbers, all categories pointed to a Martelli win. The spike, the blocks, less errors, and the aces. So they, they, they were just so focused, and they wanted their first win, and they showed how to do it. And that is um, despite the fact that only one player scored in double digits, Renz mm. Cruz stepping up for the Master Butchers. Well, when you talk about a player who can do a little bit of everything, uh, we have to say, Renz, Jonas Cruz had 10 huge points. He said double digits, six attacks, two blocks, two aces. Obviously, he wanted that win, and he showed the way for his entire squad. Terrific performance that I'm sure they will rely on again today in order to get their second straight win of the Invitational Conference. Now, let's send it over to Bailey Sakon. Thank you, Eric and Noreen. Of course, you want to hear from our fans, especially via the, Philipp the Filipinas live app. So we have a poll question ready for you. Our poll question is, 
which middle blocker will dominate the net? Again, which middle blocker will dominate the net? Use the hashtag, hashtag SpikersSurf2024. Follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. Do let us know your thoughts. You can comment down below via our Pilipinas Live app. Again, this is PGJC versus Martelli Meets. Right, coming right up. Presenting our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Mark Santos. Second referee, Mr. Bobby Celso. Let's welcome our starting lineup from the defenders of our seas, our PGJC Navy Sea Lions. Let's begin with our team captain. He wears jersey number 16, Seaman, second class, Greg Dolor. At number one, Marvin Villanueva. Wearing jersey number six, Nilo Hasmin. Number 14, Seaman, second class, Marvin Hairami. At number 15, Seaman, second class, Peter Kiel. And number 18, Seaman, second class, Oven de la Vega. Starting libero is number 10, Jeremy Santos. And head coach, Mr. Michael Coach Mike Santos. Calling on our Martelli Meads, Master Butchers. Let's begin with our team captain, who wears jersey number one, Jerome Michael Cordes. At number three, Andre Miguel Bondoc. Wearing jersey number four, Renz Jonas Cruz. Number 11, Razzle Palisoc. At number 12, Wilbert Sebrero. And number 18, Angelo Reyes. Starting libero is number 14, Carlo Isidro. Head coach, Mr. Michael Ian, Coach Billy Conde. This is match number 41, preliminary round, season seven. Starting lineup of your Sea Lions, a minor change for Coach Michael Santos as Putadera will come off the bench. And Hailami will be in the starting lineup today. And meanwhile, uh, same starting six for another Michael, Michael Conde, the head coach of the Master Butchers. And they will try to get more offense, especially from the likes of Cordes and Palisok, who were not able to score in double digits 
despite winning in three sets against the Brotherhood from Chichi. Well, why, why change it? When yeah. you got your first win with a certain six, you go to that six, you might get your second win. And again, their they're last few games, they want to play the score of their score. That's right. Meantime, Sebrero serving it into the net. So the first point of the Sea Lions, no sweat whatsoever. Meantime, Joven de la Vega, team high 18 points in that four set win against Saboc. Well, that's no surprise, really. Yeah. We, we know what uh, Toto de la Vega, you know, his capacity as a player. It's just that, you know, for his fans, I always say, you want him to start out strong from the start, right. game one till game nine, <laughs> you know, because you know that he can score 18, 20 points easily. You know, five games in double digits so far in the Invitational Conference for De La Vega as Bundok gets the first attack point for the Master Butchers. That's off the block and outside for Greg Delor. A <laughs> little bit of uh, fun taunting there at the net. <laughs> you know, these players, they may be in opposite sides, but you know that they are friends outside the court. Nilo Hasmin, also another double digit scorer in their last game with 10 points. And for me, he has been a revelation for Navy. You know, he's number two in blocking in this league so far. And how about, speaking of blocking, how about the blocking of Navy? If they can keep it up, they may have a shot of making it to the top four. I feel that's what they worked on. You know, their defense, their net defense, and slowly but surely, they're hoping, of course, the main goal right now is to make it to that four. Yeah. That will make it to the semifinals. But you see that they've been improving on the net defense. Here comes Cordes, blocked twice. He's been blocked already. And, oh, beg your pardon, that's Whoa. Cordes. Palisok was the first one. And Eric, you talked about the blocking and yeah. Navy is just not slowing down here in the first set. 12 blocks in the last game. Well, seven of those coming from Peter Kell. So, but still, that's a huge number. It is. And uh, Marvin Villanueva getting a share of that stat in this game. Short pass. Cordes tries again. Uh, this one is on the line. That's a better hit. Yeah. You know, I mean, finding that little gap between the Atena and Villanueva, and he gets the point. You know, if you're Martelli, obviously you're a new team. Mm -hmm. You take this as a learning experience. And... Hits like wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. That is a wow hit. Villanueva has never ceased to impress us. But what I'm saying is, you know, Martelli, you see that hit by Cortez already, and you see already the improvements, yes. in, right? Before that would be block, the drop, but this time they know, you know, the different variety in their hits. Service on the line for Villanueva. What a start for yeah. Navy. And well, for a team uh, hoping for a chance to make it to the top four, I mean, having a four-point lead, a 6-2 start, obviously, is what you want. And, and I think the challenge of Navy really is to play at a consistent level yeah. throughout the match. You know, sometimes they'll play really strong in, one, in set one, then set two, and uh, they will lax a bit. And that's what you want, you know, from start to finish. And remember, it's a must-win from oh, yeah. here on. And and if you're playing against a team at the lower end of the bracket, that should be a, a win for you. Of course. Yeah. That's expected. Expected. Uh, service. Another <laughs> one on the line for Villanueva. But to their credit, uh, Sea Lions, they've never had a five-set match so far in the Invitational Conference, as Michael Conde calls a timeout for the Neat Master Butchers.
This is the 2024 Spiker Surf Invitational Conference for the PGJC Navy Sea Lions. Each game is a must win for them, for them to hire their chances in grabbing that final four spot. And so I was able to talk to one of the key veterans, Peter Kiel, at Sabi sa akin, Peter, that it is important that they need to stay consistent and that repetition is key. They need to stay disciplined. They need to work harder than anyone on the floor. Peter leads by example. He commits to doing extra work. Meron silang team training either in the morning or in the afternoon. At mapa umaga man o mapa hapon. nag just siya. So if training is in the afternoon, he works out in the morning for two hours, works on his legs, vice versa. So Meron pang papaluyan after his team training. So for Peter, it's really just all about business. And that's what he wants to instill to him and his team. Back to you, Eric and Reen. All right, thank you very much, Bailey's. Well, his hard work definitely paying off. Well, uh, from, you can see the improvement from yep. game one to this game. Exactly. You can see he's been getting better. He has seven blocks as well. That's <laughs> You don't hear that very often. Seven blocks from one player. From the back row, De La Vega knocks it in. This is now an eight to nothing run for the Sea Lions. And what you like is they're playing so light, yeah. you know, even though they know it's a must win, they know that they, they, they have the advantage coming into this game and they're just going with the flow yeah. for me. Very confident. Yeah. I mean, just like how the King Crunchers were earlier mm. today. Yeah. Against uh, the Brotherhood. Uh, lost in three sets, by the way. Finally a side out. Scored by Cruz. Well, they need yeah. a lot of that from everyone, but yeah, you know, from Cruz, because see that, I mean, that's great uh, connection, great timing. Three serving ten. Nice looking serve, but a great pass. There's a block at the net. Coming from the Meat Master Butchers, and that one cross court on the line. Oh, that was Villanueva. What a start. Yeah. What a first set for Villanueva. Doing it in serves in uh, the front back row. You got five points already. Two of them <laughs> aces. Been with the team, Villanueva, since 2022. So a couple of years already with the Sea Lions. Greg Dolor, in the meantime, one of the real veterans. Mm. OG Sea <laughs> Lion right yeah. there. For sure. And, and we always say, we always... You know, admire the way he has maintained yeah. this level of play, his, his fitness. I don't remember him playing for any other club team since FEU, yeah. Greg Dolor, right? Yeah. I, thi I think, I mean, you know, these Just enlisted men, they're really very committed yeah. to their squads. Battle at the net. A nice tip coming from Sebrero. <laughs> case of David versus Goliath and David <laughs> prevails there and we always say you know it's not easy to joust against the setter for some reason their upper body strength is uh, is really different it's strong Hairami sets it up for De La Vega yes yeah just playing it smart you know if you know how to read your opponents the moment you attack you realize there's a taller blocker and there's a smaller blocker. Or go in between. <laughs> go, good sir. Biggest lead right now at nine points. Another ace for the Sea Lions. And here is a timeout for the Meat Master Butchers. Ano ha nyo, tibayan nyo na... Walang, oh, hindi tayo maka, ano, maka-atake kasi walang receive, walang defense. Huh? Tapos service nag ano pa? Yun ang ano eh. Uh, kasi nag-start tayo ng service error. Umpiga tuloy ng ano. Ha? Game, bawi inyo. Well, obviously, he was addressing the fact that their first pass is not working, their services are going into the net. So a lot of things that they need to correct that's why they can't get going here in the first set. But, you know, it's just a, a reminder that, mm -hmm. you know, we've committed mistakes. We started with service error, but come on, <laughs> let's get into the game. Short pass. Here comes Bundok. Sends it outside. And everything going right here for the Sea Lions. They're getting free points. Their offense is humming as well. Now a two-man substitution for the Meats. Master Butchers as Honrado and Tubo 
to check in for the first time today. I like the substitution. You need to change things up. If your starting six is not working, you need to add some spice somewhere. And Joaquin Tubog off the bench, one of their backup setters. Another bad pass. They end up in a free ball here for the Sea Lions. Combination play, why not? Easily picked up by Reyes. Bundok, cross court. That is picked up by Villanueva. Villanueva on the attack, off speed. Mm -hmm. Great save by Tubog. Another chance ball for the Sea Lions. Yep. And this time, they put it away from Hasmin. Would you like the hustle, though, yeah. from Martelli? And they're down by 11. Biggest lead for the Sea Lions here in the opening set. Uh, Greg Delor has the pipes, definitely. <laughs> I like the the closing of the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how you do it. You have to close the eyes at certain points of the song. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you don't feel it. <laughs> No, I love that. I love that feature. It really shows the other side of yeah. you know the players that uh, they choose. <laughs> Do you think they should pick harder songs? And there's a point coming from De La Vega. Ha harder is uh, subjective. <laughs> you know, for some people that's an easy song. For some, it's hard. But they're starting to go some 80s, 90s stuff. <laughs> So we because should they get you there. We should, <laughs> <laughs> we should choose you. We we there's another ace. That's got to be like a fourth unofficially on my count. Ace for the EC Lions. Yeah, we have to give it to Navy. I mean, yeah. here in the first set, their service has been really on point. Yeah. Tough serves, really giving uh, Martelli a hard time with their first pass. That's a better pass mm -hmm. from Monrado. Left-handed push by Reyes. Bundok, cross court is on the line. Well, you're talking about the serves. Four aces so far, just to check the numbers for PGJC Navy. And none yet for the Beats Master Butchers as Bundok will sit down. Romeo Chodones used to play for Vanguard. He's in the game for the first time. And they're hoping for better serves. Good pass. Coming from Pagulong. And Delora puts it away. Yeah, blockers were there. But Delora, just you can see the way he elevated for that. You know, he really overpowered the blockers. Actually, the head. I think that in the slow-mo, we saw the head. Substitution for the Sea Lions as Omar Liok will check in. Didn't score. Off the bench against Savoj. Liok has started in a lot of games for PGJC Navy, so we expect some numbers from yep. him. Scored. Biggest output for Liok is 11. I scored against the uh, King Crunchers as Cordes sends it outside. Well, you're seeing a bit of you know, difference in the body language right yeah. now of Martelli. Very unsure, uncertain of their game. So they have to shake it off, really. You're playing against a good team, yes, but I think you're better than what you're showing. Well, ooh, could have been a lift there coming from Chitones. But if you're Coach Conde, I mean, what do you tell the team? Obviously, um, they 
they know they're down to their last few games. Mm -hmm. They're not playing after the eliminations. How do you keep them motivated to try and give the Sea Lions a tough time here? First and foremost, you tell them we are a new team. You know, we just want we're here to get experience. Mm -hmm. And the last few games, we've gotten our first win, which is the toughest yeah, that's to do. True. And you're past that, so it's more of come on, let's enjoy ourselves. Yeah. Get momentum after that three-set win against the Brotherhood. But right now, they're just getting rolled over by the Sea Lions and getting hurt in so many ways. Yeah, Peter Kill, we talked about him yeah. at the top of the coverage. Really, who showed? He's showing us his improvement in just within the conference. Cordes against a double block. That's in. Good defense wow. by the Sea Lions. Boy, everything working for yeah. Navy. That looked like it was going to ricochet outside, but it clips the line. What a start here. 22 to 8. Sea Lions just destroying Martelli meets mm. here in the opening set. Cordes against a triple block. This one, he brushes <laughs> off one of the arms. Okay, he doesn't like two blockers, <laughs> he likes three. He's more successful that way. But, the, you know, after that hitting error, he did get a kill. Yeah. And it's back-to-back -back points for Cortez. Butadera. Ooh. Wow. It, we, we, don't, we have never seen a rally so far here in the opening set. It's been all side outs, mostly in favor of the Sea Lions. Yeah. And they have been converting, you yeah. know. What do you like about what Hirami has been doing? And I think Butadera's Butadera. in right. is actually just... Making place and uh, making it look easy. Chadones sets it up. Uh, bad pass to Cortez. That uh, didn't materialize into anything. And now it's that many set points, 24 to 9, in favor of the Sea Lions. Well, for Martelli, you know, for me, just get to 10. The short term goals right now. That's a better pass. Nice defense by the Sea Lions. Here's a free ball for the. Meets Master Butchers with oh, Adela oh, oh. with the dig. De La Vega sets it up. Tough hit there for Jacob. But the block, the solo <laughs> block, is good for Jacob John Ashley. Well, that was a great smile, and he <laughs> deserves the smile because that looked like it was going the way of Martelli Meets. Yeah. But Navy gets the point. I see Lions, one set to nothing against the Master Butchers right here at the Inares Sports Arena. Twenty-five to nine, a decisive win for the Sea Lions against the Master Butchers in set number one. Well, when we talk about strong start, for me, Navy just showed that one of the better starts. It's similar to the first game yeah. today be between Criss Cross and uh, Chi Chi. These teams that want to solidify their spots, Criss Cross, part of the top four, Navy wanting to get there. So they're focus and they they look like they're w well on their way and we look at the numbers attacking blocking serves in one error i mean it's a nearly flawless set yeah. for pgjc navy one error that's pretty good w what you want to see from martelli in this match we talked about the possibility of them playing the spoilers role you want them actually we talked about their first pass that is yeah. the most important thing they have to work on in the second set try to get better passes to the setters 
so that maybe a bit of combination plays and try to, you know, fool the blocking of Navy that's been working wonders for them. Well, De La Vega and the Sea Lions need to win the remaining matches to really be in a good position to battle for the fourth spot mm -hmm. yeah. in the top four. Yeah, and if they can win in straight sets, and because it's going to come down, there will be ties, I feel, you know, between so the three teams. Points three ratio? Teams. Yeah, you, you want... I mean, you did say they didn't have any five setters, but I, I'm not really sure about the computation at this point. But the race is on between Savage, PGJC Navy, and La Salle. La Salle, yes. Echo Oil La Salle. Yep. And you have to remember, Savage is a game, game and a half ahead of both Echo Oil La Salle and PGJC Navy. Yeah, but we're looking at the, the schedule. I mean, all the three teams that are vying, the three teams yeah. you mentioned, they have tough opponents. Mm -hmm. So for Navy, you want to beat a team, we said earlier, that's below you in the brackets right. because you never know what's going to happen. So if you can win, win in straight sets as much as, much as possible. Well, a nice start, an energetic start for the Master Butchers. A point there by Kenrod Umali. Well, yeah, they have to say, think for Martelli. They have nothing to lose. Yeah. yeah, they just try to get kills, you know, maybe win a set. You, right. you never know. Play like nothing's on the line because there practically isn't anything on yeah. the line for the Master Butchers. Oh, Villanueva, what an angle. Well, speaking of Villanueva, that's his sixth point as he lead all scorers in this match. De La Vega with four, Dolor with five. But he has six. <laughs> For Martelli, Corte Cortez with three points. Cruz with two. So a lot of uh, output needed yep. from the other players. Tubo is a starter. Much better start here in terms of rallies. That's mm -hmm. kept alive. Ooh. Both teams with great floor defense so far. Well, you're, you were looking for a rally, Eric. And that's, that's what we're getting. Oh. Delore, here's a chance ball for the Master Butchers. Chance to put it away. Great what defense. Longest rally. Oh, oh and again, Villanueva back to back points for Marvin Villanueva. Boy, the confidence <laughs> of Villanueva today, it's really yeah. crazy off the charts. Look at that. Look at that. That snap, yeah. that follow through. Of the, of the wrist. You were talking about uh, the remaining games for both these teams. Oh, actually, well, some of the teams that uh, have uh, Final Four aspirations. Okay, so November 29, we have Navy going against Signal. That's a huge match. Savoge versus LaSalle. So Savoge, LaSalle, and Navy still have matches yeah. on the 29th. And then on December 1, LaSalle against VNS. Criss Cross against yes, Savoge. So, it's still a tight race for that last spot for in the, the Final yeah. Four. And very tough opponents, too. Yeah. Right? yeah. But at this stage of the competition, we have to say, these teams have already, we always say, have improved already, yeah. have learned from the past. So, teams like Sauvage and, and Navy, they, you never know, they can actually True. beat the any of the three teams that are already in the semifinals. In the meantime, Villanueva continues to fire some hot ones. Well, that's seven points already for Villanueva. Well, he woke up at the right yeah. side of the bed today. Dubo, terrific set. A little low, uh, which forced an error on an attempt by Reyes. Yeah, that was clear. And the ball stayed in his uh, hands for way too long. Was Reyes, did he come in late or was the set low? It was miscue. I mean, but Reyes should have, like, adjusted because the setter could only do so much. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh, that could have been, yeah, there's got to be a challenge there. It seemed like there was no touch. So Michael Conde will challenge the block touch. Because his players, they were very noisy. You could hear him <laughs> saying, we didn't touch it. Somebody either blow the whistle or challenge this. Yeah, it looked like the ball just clipped the tape. Right. But we will see our yeah. first challenge of the match. 
sometimes it's tough to tell as well. I mean, because of the adrenaline, mm. the players don't feel it. And uh, action happening too fast. We are by the net. We are positioned by the net. But still, it's men's volleyball. Like, it's double the pace of what yeah, you, you yeah. regularly see. The pace and the power. Power. Well, a 25-9 loss in the first set by these gentlemen. Martelli meets Master Butchers. Are not, not actually a new team. They're they're um, the different name. They're Rich Mar are they the Maverick Hard Hitters, renamed as Martelli meets Master Butchers. <laughs> okay, they're not a new team, but uh, rebranding. Rebranded. Like I believe Chi Chi Brotherhood was also Rich Mark. So. Okay. But we, but we always give it to these new brands that we say they're new teams yeah. because it takes the pressure off. You know, it's true because it takes the pressure off, you know, the, the teams that, right. that rebrand and try to get players. But they are. As you look at the Whoa. results, there is a touch on the hand. Yeah. But most of the lineup, the roster of Coach Conde, they're practically new players. They've swapped around, traded and let go of some um, signed uh, new a new new free agents. Coach Conde played, right? Yes. Right? Played a long, long time ago. Yeah. I, I believe <laughs> when there was still no Spikers turf back when it was still... He did join the Spikers turf. How come we look so familiar? Played for the Instituto Estetico Manila Vong yes, Masters. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Back when they still played in the PPL. As Greg Dunor puts it away. Well, after the unsuccessful challenge, the point went to Navy, and now they follow it up with a Greg Delore point. Now, that's what you've got to fix if you're the master butchers. I mean, get a quick turnaround mm. and a side out, and don't allow the Sea Lions to run away with this. Dubog sets it up, and there you go. Jerome Cortes with a point. He has been the bright spot for right. uh, Martelli Meets. So you want to create these opportunities for him to get his points. Maybe he can be the, the recipient of a combination play. True. He is one of the most experienced players in the roster. Played for the, the Navigators. Oh. As you see, Peter Kjell knock it in. 8-3. Five-point lead for the Sea Lions against the Meat Master Butchers here in set number two. Back inside the Inari Sports Arena in Pasig City and looking to grab their second win of the conference are the Martelli Meets Master Butchers. And Renz Jonas Cruz is one of the players that led them their first win. At he niya sa akin na late bloomer daw siya sa volleyball. Renz is a 25-year-old, a senior of La Saldas Marinas, majoring in physical education. At nagsimula siya mag-volleyball at age of 19 years old. Nakita daw siyang nagla-line judge. Hindi naglalaro sa Inter Barangay League and Das Marinas. Napansin na matangkad siya. Maganda yung built ng kanyang katawan. And was recruited by PCU Das Marinas before being acquired by La Salle. And for Renz, he plans on working abroad after college in Italy, specifically as a chef. But uh, he's still not closing his doors and continuing his reign here in Spikersturf. Your thoughts, Eric and Noreen? Well, physical education and being a chef are a totally different thing, but uh, dream is a dream. We're talking about Cruz. He uh, ma is majoring in physical education, but his dream is to go to Europe as a chef. As a chef. <laughs> well, we wish him well. He must uh, allow us to sample some of his, some of his yeah. creations, yes, right? Yes, yes, agree. <laughs> Nine no, serving four. But just, just, uh, just a side, yes. really, is we've seen a lot of home cooks become chefs, so it's oh, not far. Course. It's not, yeah. it's not a far-fetched dream. That's where it all starts. Cortez again, and Cortez starting to 
heat up a little bit here in set number two. Yeah, he should just get his touches because he has been effective, but he has to get more touches. He needs to lead his team. Only four points for Cortez in that win against the Brotherhood. Great pass from Delore. Back row push for, for Villanueva. Tubog sets it up. Chance. Palisok cross court. Villanueva pops it up. Delore once again. Great defense by mm. the Master Butchers. Chance ball here for the Sea Lions. On two. Would that uh, make that Hairani with a point? Well, getting into the scoring act, that was a great opportunity for him, and he delivers. Former beach volleyball player Marvin Hairani. And an error for Peter Kiel makes it a four point game. Yeah, we saw that. You know, the, the contact was very low. Yeah, but they're keeping the hopes of Martelli Meets alive here in the second yeah. set with these uh, service errors. Well, here's the future chef, mm. Mr. Cruz. Nice serve. Whoa. De La Vega with a dump. I mean, just too tall, too athletic. De La Vega was on top of the blockers. And smart. He saw that hole and he just pushed it. <laughs> he just pushed it. Yeah. <laughs> six serving 11. Or make that 11 serving six. Oh. That's way outside for Cortez. And a timeout for Coach Conde as they are down by six. Set number two. Uh, Walang receive kasi wala na rin, wala rin tayong atake. So, kaya lalayo talaga. Kaya ang gawin natin, uh, i-ano nyo lang, dahan-dahan nyo lang kung wala lang tayong momentum. Sa, sa service, dapat in, nahihirapan kayo mag-receive o pahirapan nyo rin silang mag-receive. Ha? Walang, I mean, nakaka-atake sila kasi simple lang yung ano natin. Nar Nare-receive nila yun ang maayos. Go, 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 go. Hey, Martelli! Yes! Well, he is, Coach Conde is stating the fact because uh, Navy has been receiving very well. You know, that has what kept them going in this match. First set, great first set in the second set. They've been digging and receiving really well. So what Coach Conde wants, serve top. Yes. They practice that. At this level of uh, volleyball, you need to, they, what they call, karga in your service. Well, my, uh, Hairami tried it and sent it outside. So free point after the timeout for the Master Butchers. Navy has at least three service errors in the set. Master Butcher's looking for win number two. Meanwhile, the Sea Lions looking for win number five. Dubog sets it up, and Reyes will score. Well, they listened to Coach Conde. They said pahirapan, right? And that was a perfect execution on the side of Martelli. Oh, just a four-point game. Mm. And just like that, no runs for the Master Butchers as service into the net for Joaquin Tubog. 13 serving eight. Much closer set yeah, compared to the first. A lot better. Save no good for Chinones as another ace coming from the Sea Lions. Assisted by the net. <laughs> Just enough top spin to roll over the net. Lead is six for De La Vega and the Sea Lions. Set number two after winning oh. by 16. And back to back aces. Well, he looked, he looked so relaxed in the <laughs> service area, but when he hits it, it's just so much power. Toto De La Vega. A much better pass to Bob. Nice hit for Kenrod Umali. Finally getting the side out, but not after allowing you know, Sea Lions to score three straight points. 
And they much needed contribution from other players aside from Cordes and Cruz, yeah. right? Umali, he can score in double digits, had 11 against the King Crunchers. Scored eight against the Brotherhood. Chadones didn't like it, so a chance ball here for the Sea Lions. Comes Delore through with a double block. Greg Delore just making it look so easy. Uh, the entire team making it look so easy. Are up by eight points here and make that seven points right here in set number two. Razel Palisok, well, a great job recalling some of the big hits from back in the day. It's very soft spoken. That, that's that's <laughs> not as old as Salamat by the Dawn, that's for sure. <laughs> so that's that's much easier. Another ace here for the Sea Lions as they just continue to pour it on. Yeah, and this is another name we have to say, Yasmin, yes. getting that service ace. So really, I did. You know what Navy had worked on? Net defense and serves. There it is. Another one. Right on cue. Nine point lead right now for the Sea Lions. Well, we were saying that they were, th this was such a closer match. It was at four points, yeah. and now Navy just pulling away. Seven aces for the Sea Lions uh, since the set, first set. And finally a side out for Chadonis. Not the tallest of players, but if they can get that going down the line, eluding or dodging the blockers, you know, that's a good sign. Well, Chidonis is a former beach volleyball player, so he's got some hops. Here's a chance ball that meets Master mm. Butchers can do something about, but pass was too high. Well, that's a no-no. You know, you were given a chance ball. You have to take advantage, yeah. not give it back as a free gift. In the meantime, Jerry Karangyan did not play against Sabor. She is on the floor for the first time today. Coach Mike pretty pleased with the way <laughs> Navy's playing, trying yeah. to give playing time to the bench. Palisok. Villanueva picks it up. Here's Carangan, his first touch. <laughs> Coach Mike, happy with his decision. <laughs> Look at that. That's how, uh, that's how you create situations for these players. Great setting by Hairami, we have to say. In the meantime, Lance Dagook also checking in. So the second stringer is coming in for... Coach Mike Santos and the Sea Lions. Oh. Paliso. Yes. He has been quiet today. Yeah. Paliso. And again, he's one of the players that Martelli needs leadership from. Six points for Paliso in their last game against the Brotherhood. But now he gets subbed out. Sebrero and Honrado back in the game. It's a battle of the subs. Well, it's a fr full front line for the Master Butchers. Let's see what they can do. There's a nice oh, block oh, by Chadonis save. against Tagook. Chance ball from Karangyan. Sebrero sets it up. They go to Honrado. Oh, blocked by Karangyan. And that save is no good for Honrado. What a, what a great save, though, by Marvin Villanueva using his feet. 
That was a great block, but look at this reaction. Is it the World Cup yet? <laughs> And then another substitution for the Sea Lions as De La Vega will sit down and Omar Liok checks back in. So it's just Hairami and Villanueva. The rest are coming off the bench. Great pass, Sabrero. A nice touch for Cruz. Good save, come on. Let's see if they can convert this chance ball. Yes, they do. Cruz finally knocking it in. Well, we did mention earlier that we talked about him at the top of the coverage yeah. and also a bit silent today, Panisok and, and Cruz. So you got, that's what we're saying. You've got to create these opportunities for your hitters. Well, let's see if they can get another break point here. Oh, yes, they do. Mm, that's a rare miscue for the Sea Lions who've played near perfect. Yeah. But, that you know... Aside from that hitting air, everything but the shot. I mean, that was a great look at the the set, the the glide. But yeah, it was just missed time. Oh, but unfortunately, Chadone serves it outside, just stopping their little run and the momentum they're building. And another second stringer checking in, Melvin Lapurga, in the game for the first time today. Another player who didn't see action against the Borch. And Coach Mike is being generous today <laughs> with playing time. He's giving it away. And so are the points being given away by the Sea Lions as uh, the goal serves it outside. Uh, they, are, they have a commanding lead here, eight points, uh, service faults total. Five for the Sea Lions, four for the Master Butchers. It was all right, five to four. Not a good pass. From Liok, Liok attacks. Chatones to Sabrero. Honrado with a tip. Got it. Well, much welcome mm -hmm. point for Honrado. So a little two-point run for the Master Butchers. Let's see if they can rack up some more. Still down by seven. Set number two after losing by 16 in the first set. Good serve. Now here's an overpass. Off the block, uh, Umali unable to score. Yeah, that was a huge block for Navy. I mean, given that it's nearly a, a new six here, just Villanueva and Hairami, so they needed that stop. 23-15, Sebrero. They go to the middle, and Reyes delivers. You know... The risk of doing that, I mean, you love it when coaches give playing time to the bench, mm -hmm. but the risk is if your opponent gets momentum and confidence yeah. because of what you did. A little, <laughs> yeah, some lax Yeah, right? I playing, mean, right. Th and they bring it to the third set. That's a whole different ball game. That's true. Uh, Coach Conde brings back some of his starters, Palisok, back in the game. Nice hit through the block for uh, Omar Liok. Yes, hang time for you. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific form as well. Yeah. Liok didn't score against Saboj, so now those are much needed points as uh, Reyes answers again. So first it was, it was Cordes, now Reyes stepping up late in set number two. And better ball handling for me, better mm -hmm. passing for Martelli. Yeah. And if they can get that, you see the results. Right. A lot more attack points. Yes. In set number two. I mean, they made it to 17 points at least. And that is all she wrote for set number two as Villanueva puts in the final point. Well, it looked like uh, Martelli got a bit of momentum or a bit of a run there, mm -hmm. but uh, great stops by the bench players, we have to say, of Coach Mike. Well, let's see if that energy carries over to set number three for the Master Butchers as they will uh, try to extend this match against the Sea Lions.
a much better fight put up by the Master Butchers, putting uh, putting in 17 points in set number two, but still went down against the Sea Lions going into set number three. For me, the biggest factor for Martellini Master Butchers is they passed their passing was a lot better yeah. and that was what what coach Conde was addressing our passing has to be on point and when it is on point we've seen a lot of great attacks from the players even the bench players of uh, Martelli so it was a, a, a better set and, and later if we look at the numbers now we're looking at the numbers it's clear you know the attacks they had just two less in that department blocking still for Navy two serves but, but still, you know, I think it was a better set for Martelli. And what you're hoping is what we're saying towards the end of the second set is from that run yeah. to make it 17, 25-17, that they bring that, yeah. that run or that momentum into the third set and maybe give Navy some, some problems. That's right. Uh, Arena Plus, Astigsa Sports. Uh, let's see if uh, there will be a better start. Here in set number three for Coach Michael Conde. And the rest of the Master Butchers against the Sea Lions, who are obviously the heavy favorites here. The Sea Lions at four and three in the standings, looking for their fifth win. And they're looking for back-to-back -back wins. Uh, well, so are the uh, Master Butchers, who got their first win in their last game against uh, the Brotherhood. A tweak starting six for Coach Conde. Uh, Sekitin, Honrado, in the starting lineup. Well, Andrado had uh, a, a great drop in set number two. So, yeah, yeah I mean, uh, good change up for Martelli. But <laughs> look at the starting six yes. of PGJC Navy. Coach Mike wants to end this yeah. in three sets. You know that. Yeah, it's the same one. Hairami will set it up. Uh, off the block. And there is first point for the Sea Lions. De La Vega knocking it in. I was looking at Tedones and his reaction after. He was happy that he got a hand in that yeah. ball. And, you know, that's how you try to improve. Yeah. First get a hand in it, then adjust your, your form. Good pass by Tedones. Oh, one on one. Oh, there's a net touch on Honrado. Well, the pass was a little too close to the net. Take a look. Uh, it, it actually, it is the, the momentum of the broad jump that you saw the shoulders clip yeah. the net. Pass too close to the net again, but there is a an overreach. Going to be called against Villanueva for the first point of the Master Butchers. That was, uh, I want to see that. Ooh. <laughs> it was in the center. Yeah, it was at the center. Uh, but here's a run by the Master Butchers. Service ace coming from Wilbert Sabrero. Best start. We yep. have to say best start. Beg your pardon, that's Chodones with a serve. That's true. One of the better starts in this match. Hairami. And that one did not go through. It was a low set. That was clear. But Hazmin just buried that into the net. No adjustments on his end. First lead for the Master Butchers here in set number three. Another bad pass from Greg Delore. That's definitely an easy point. The dump coming from Sikitin. And look at the score, right? Four and two, even for a moment, if it doesn't last. But of course, for the fans of Martel, you want it to last and hopefully force a fourth set. This is what we were talking about. Yeah. The, the momentum that they got from that end of the second set, they're bringing it here in the third set. Oh, what a save. That one is in. Greg Delore bouncing back and getting the side out. It wasn't, you know, for me, we heard the sound. It wasn't solid, but still, Greg Delore gets <laughs> the ball inside the opponent's court. Three serving four. Hasmin. There's a good pass from Chidonis. They go to the middle. Sekitin. Quick side out for the Master Butchers to restore their biggest lead. 
Well, better passing. You already did say the Donuts with a good pass there and creating the opportunities. And we're talking about the starting unit of Navy yeah. that limited uh, Martelli to what? Eight, eight points in the first set? Was yes. It eight? Yeah. No, nine points. Nine points. Nine points. Yeah. Meantime, Delor with back to back side outs for the Sea Lions. Uh, substitution for Coach Conde as Kalayag is in. Uh, leading scorers. Yeah, you can see Greg Delore with 11 points, Cordes with five. Another good pass by Chidonis. Honrado, oh. nowhere to go. Shot down by Greg Delore. He scored the last three points for the Sea Lions to tie the game at five. Well, that's blocking 101. Look at that. You know, the libero was there, but that was just using the power of Honrado's hit mm -hmm. against him. <laughs> Service way out for Villanueva. So the meets Master Butchers back on top by one. And you saw Mike Santos, first year head coach for the Sea Lions after taking over from Cecil Cruzada, who is now the assistant coach. And coach George Pasco, I remember. Right. Uh, again, Greg Delore. Greg Delore realized, I'm sure he realizes the fact that Martelli's playing a better set here. He wants to counter that, <laughs> trying to get the kills as quickly as possible. Six all. Delore serving. Chedones has been passing very well. Bundo blocked. Honrado overpasses. Back row, Delore got it again. <laughs> Five straight points he scored. And now he is put single handedly. Team on top by one. He's got to love the tape. We have to say <laughs> the net has been kind to Greg Delore. A lot of balls that clip the net, but uh, in his favor. Greg Delore, 14 points matching his biggest output so far in the Invitational Conference this year. Bundo, that set was behind him, but That's still made great. something out of it. That's great, finding that little gap between the blockers and getting it through. That's impressive too because he had to look way up for that. And still, like what you mentioned, found the opening through the block and through the floor defense. Good serve. Game tied. Peter Kiel. Good defense by the Master Butchers. And hit by Sebrero. Goes nowhere. That sends us to our first technical timeout. It's a one-point lead for the Sea Lions. Babalik on 2024 Spikers Turf Invitational Conference and just one set away from winning their fifth win of this conference are the PGJC Navy Sea Lions and one of the leaders of the pack is Toto de la Vega but present here in our venue is his inspiration, his lovely wife, Mrs. Dane de la Vega coming all the way from Bacolod, their hometown. She does love watching via our Filipinas live app but grabs opportunities like this to support Toto and the Sea Lions live and experience the action here in Manila. They have been together as boyfriend and girlfriend for 10 years, uh, but just recently got married early this year. And she what she admires most about Toto is, are two things rather. Number one is his humility. Never niyang naramdaman yung hangin from Toto na kahit lumalaki ng kanyang pangalan, playing here in the pro leagues, at kahit pag uwi nila dun sa Bacolod, he's still the same old Toto. And most especially yung competitiveness daw niya. He never gives up, never backs down, kahit anong sakit na katawan, whatever challenge may come. And if you think about it, it's like the collective mindset of PGJC as a whole, especially their um, delicate position here in this conference. Eric and Noreen. All right, thank you, Baileys. Uh, well, right on cue, Toto de la Vega with a point. <laughs> a very supportive uh, wife 
watching live and also following it on Philippines <laughs> Live. Just to make sure you don't miss out on any of the action. You never know. Biggest lead for the Sea Lions up by two points after a two point lead as well by the Master Butchers. Nice block as Sikitin is turned away. Mm. But again, a good serve on the side of uh, Navy. That was Hirami. Short pass coming from Chudones. Chudones attacking in the block by Hasmin. That's a wall. Hasmin and De La Vega. That's a wall right there. Oh, mina madali natin mag-receive. Kaya nang ganun yun nangyayari, ha? Dahan-dahan, yung tempo natin, gawin lang. Huwag yung ano, huwag natin itulak, huwag natin bilisan, ha? Go. Well, from up two, now down four. Uh, Carlo Rado, Andre Bundok, and the rest of the Master Butchers. And this time out, you're hoping they can turn it around and not allow Sea Lions to pull away because that's been uh, the problem. Once the Sea Lions get momentum, it's really tough to, to catch up. Well, we keep mentioning that uh, it's a must-win match for yeah. Navy, for Martelli. It's a must-win must set if yeah. they want to force a fourth set. Chodones, after getting blocked, sends it outside. No block touch, according to Mark Santos, our first referee. And Chodones put 100% in that, yeah. hoping to get a touch. So the run continues here for the Sea Lions, now up by five. Now this one, a bad pass from Chodones. Chance ball for the Sea Lions. Combination play. Oh. Tela Vega putting it away. So that's volleyball 101. Textbook play yeah. there. You see, look at the reach of De La Vega. Stretch, you know, outstretch the arm. That's really lovely to watch. Fourteen serving eight. The run continues. The lead is now six. Honrado trying to save it. Mm. Isidro as well gets it's, it back. Yeah. But it's a chance ball once again for the Sea Lions. Villanueva sends it outside. Stops the run of the Sea Lions. <laughs> well, you talked about putting effort there. Villanueva did the same <laughs> and the same uh, result. Sebrero serving, hoping that this can start a run for the Master Butchers. Good serve. This is the biggest lead for the Sea Lions. Tip easily picked up by Sebrero. Sundiang sets it up for Chidones. Hayrami to De La Vega. Off speed, Honrado was there. Easy pick up. Chidones again, looking for a point. Good one, save. One-handed dig for Hayrami. Chance ball for the Master Butchers. Sebrero. That Sikitin is blocked. Sobrero tries again. They go to Honrado this time. Blocked again. Sun Diang with the save. Honrado, second time around. De La Vega overpasses. And <laughs> finally, the put away. Well, the effort put into that point by Martelli, we yeah. have to commend. And they deserve that point, keeping the balls in play. A terrific rally won by Jay Sikitin. It was just a four-point lead. And a quick side out to the bigger. You don't see that often, that slide, but you know that's part of their arsenal. Toto de la Vega gets the point for PGJC Navy. Five-point game. Closest set so far. And it gets closer off that service fault by De La Vega for the Master Butchers. Well, you can see really, you know, they're just so into the game. You know, Marvin Villanueva going all out <laughs> for, for his hits, De La Vega for his serves. Delore drills that one in. Well. Second technical timeout. Sea Lions up by five, set number three.
always be humble and never think that you are better than anyone else. Kung anong na-achieve ko ngayon, so same pa rin as for example sa mga friends mo kung anong naabot mo. So neutral pa rin tapos sa volleyball. Uh, sa akin kasi hindi ako tumitigil na mag-learn hanggang maglalara ako, keep learning. And Jovan De La Vega out of the University of St. Lasalle in Bacolod. Hey, your favorite NBA super uh, superstars on NBA TV Philippines uh, now available on Signal Play. Download the Signal Play app and on the App Store or Google Play and subscribe now to catch all the action in this new NBA season. Well, as you were saying that, Bundok with yet another point. See, these are the little contributions from uh, Martelli. Peter Kell with the push. Sekitin picks it up. On Rado oh. is blocked again by Greg Delore. Well, Greg Delore's got his number. Yeah. We have to say two stuff blocks in similar fashion. Substitution for Coach Santos as Pudadera returns and Jacob as well returning. Can you look at the hang time of Greg Delore. He hasn't lost a step right? or a bounce to his step yeah. as well, right? Since those FEU days. I think so. Great pass. And quick tip coming from Kalayag. Get the side out. Now Honrado will sub out. So will Sobrero. Tubog Palisok return. I think uh, for coach going there, maybe a one final push right now, yeah. bringing in Palisok. Well, they're still, still in it, only down by four points. Can they dig in deep for a big run here? Delore. Wow. wow Greg Delore is right now just locked in. You can see. That set wasn't the greatest set. See, it's a True. bit low for Greg Delore, but see the way he adjusted just that snap and that uh, follow through, that made all the difference. 17 points for Greg Delore. That's a new conference high for him as Kalaya is turned away. Well, back to back points for uh, yeah. Navy. All right, now back to a six point lead. Nice serve. Wow, yeah. <laughs> uh, nice attempt as well by Isidro. Uh, that was going to be a tough get, no matter what. Timeout for the Master Butchers, down by seven. Wala na namang receive. Dito lang yan, dito lang mag-serve yan. Ha? Alam mo, pa pag... Miki, pakita ka lang doon para lang, ano, para pag may bola doon, saka ka lang kuha. Pero dito yan mag-serve. Ha? Go! So seven point game. Navy, a win today ties them with. Let's check. We'll, ties them with Savoj. Savoj. Savoj is ahead in the stand. That's right. So a win today ties them with. No, still half a game down. Oh, yeah, They're going to be five yes, and three. Correct, correct. But in terms of wins... They, they will have, have the same five. number of wins, mm. right. Kalayag makes up for the error and scores. So good timeout for Coach Conde. They will, they're going to be up against or above Eco Oil DLSU. Yeah. One of the three teams that uh, Sea Lions are going up against fighting for that chance to close in on the fourth spot. So we did say it's going to be tight. Yeah, very tight. Back to back points for Kalayag. Well, what a bright spot for Coach Conde. Great read there. Kalayag out of San Beda. Not a good pass. It's a five point game. Ooh. Uh, Tubog. I almost got hit in the face there. He was moving forward. When De La Vega hit, take another look. Ah, it's just the arm. <laughs> it's not the fest. Dubog to Kalayag. 
as a net touch on Jacob. Well, they're keeping the hopes of Martelli meet mm -hmm. alive here. Five point game. Talayag with a nice serve, a short pass from Greg Delore. Here comes Jacob. Back to back errors for Jacob. A bit cold off the bench. Coach Santos looking on. Another good looking serve there from Kalayak, but a better pass coming from Delore and finally a put away for Hasmin. Mm. Well, that's just douse the fire. Yeah. Uh, lit by Martelli here towards the end of the third set. So down by five, meet Master Butchers and Navy Sea Lions only three points away from winning in straight sets. Oh. And that's a nice hit for Razel Paliso. You know, if you watch the replay of this game, then you study Martelli, you'll see the talent of these players, the hitting, it's just that it's sporadic. You mm -hmm. want it really consistent. It just goes to show the future of Martelli meets is, is very bright, you know? If they can keep the core together. Yes, that's important. Sebrero is back in the game. It's a full front line for the Master Butchers. Back to back points for Hasmin. Well, the experience of Navy obviously yeah. coming into play. You can see they're using the, the quickness, they're using the middle to try to, you know, get, get fast points. Good pass. I mean, from Isidro, Honrado really can't get anything going. Tries again, Honrado with a push. De La Vega pops it up. Pudadera to Jacob. Back row hit is good. Uh, that, that should make up for all the <laughs> miscues of Jacob. But there is a footfall challenge. This is, I, I saw Jacob take off. Unless my eyes were deceiving me, this is not going to be a successful challenge. Well, they've, not, they've really got nothing to lose with this oh, challenge. That's true. <laughs> I can already hear the comments from behind me. People seeing the, uh, it's not even close. It's probably a whole foot can fit <laughs> in between the foot of Jacob where he took off and then the attack line, so. And if that is true, Jacob would probably say, give this to me. I've been having a pretty bad day. Uh, probably two feet <laughs> can fit in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's match point already. And we will adjust the score at the venue and on the TV screens. This is, yep, there it is. Six match points for Jacob and the Sea Lions. And you have the lore in front. Yep. <laughs> De La Vega really went for an ace there. No doubt about that. It's, a, it's like, uh, go big or go home. <laughs> ace or nothing. Ace or bust. Exactly. Chidones. Dig coming from Sobrero. Oof, well, too close to the net. But there's a point. Orlando wins against the blockers. But finally getting <laughs> one over Greg Delore there. And, you know, that's what we say, case and point. Eh? It, a point is a point. Yep. You use your volleyball smarts there. That's what, that's what he did. That ought to feel good for Carlo Rado, who's been stopped at least twice by Greg Delore. Delore for the win. Got it. <laughs> it's going to be a challenge. They thought about it for a split second, but they decided not to. So... As you take another look here, there's probably a touch as well by Isidro. Or Sundia. <laughs> so, that is all she wrote as the Sea Lions get back to back wins and uh, prevent the Master Butchers from getting their second straight win in the Invitational Conference. We'll take a break. Uh, best player of the game when we return.
nila. Back inside the NR Sports Arena in Pasig City, PGJC, three-set win over Martelli Meets. And with me is a player of the game, the team captain of the Navy Sea Lions, Greg Dolor. First off, congratulations sa inyong panalo. You. Okay, your backs are against the wall. Must win each game. Gano ka importante yung panalo na to para sa inyo? Uh, sobrang importante siya kasi gusto namin pumasa sa semis eh. So yung malalaman pa namin yung makakapasok kami sa last game namin sa 29 inches again signal so yun bibigyan namin lahat ng mga kaya namin then kung anong mabibigay kung anong uh, kakalabasan ng game yun yes at na kwento sa akin ng inyong head coach si coach Mike Santos na medyo naging rough yung simula natin coming into this conference marami kayong adjustments ano yung pinaka improve nyo at ngayon meron na kayong momentum na manalo uh, yung number one talaga yung improve namin is yung service receive talaga kasi sa volleyball yun yung number one na kailangan so Doon kami nagpo-focus, service receive din. Normal lang yung, ano, yung atake, sa blockings, kaya naman yun. Eh. Pero sa service receive kasi doon kasi magkakatalo lahat ng uh, volleyball. At lastly, na ano yung lagi mong sinasabi sa mga teammates mo, lalo na do or die each and every game? Um, ano, bigyan, bigyan na yung lahat kasi umaga, yung training natin ng ilang buwan, it's, hindi natin kung makakapasok tayo sa semis, mas maganda. Pero kung Bigyan na natin ba yung best natin kasi yun na yung ano eh, yung huling game natin sa sa Friday which is yung signal so yun lang yung sinasabi sa kanila bigyan niyo yung best niyo all right uh, again congratulations on the win baka may gusto kang batiin ah uh, maraming maraming salamat kay Tita Ping then kay Tito Jason na lagi sumusuporta sa amin uh, at sa family ko sa Pangasinan din sa Sambales yung missis ko si Charm Dolor then yung baby ko po si Gabin tsaka si Diana uh, Maraming maraming, maraming salamat sa support ng kalahin. Alright. Thank you. Thank you so much. The team captain of PGJC, our player of the game, 19 points and 3 blocks. Maraming salamat. Back to you, Eric and Noreen. Alright, thanks very much, uh, Baileys. Congratulations, Greg Delore. A must win and they got the win in straight sets. Well, they were expected to, to win, but, uh, you know, Martelli learned throughout the match that they need to put in the work. You know, the first set really went the way of Navy, but we saw a difference in the second and in the third set regardless of situations and looking forward for me martelli just you just want to improve but great win for navy nonetheless and uh if you look at the numbers there 15 to 11 blocks so the blocking really the strength of navy and they used it today and they're hoping in their match you heard it from greg the lord yeah. it's signal it's gonna be huge it's gonna be tough they're hoping that these the defense will take them through and uh, we will see the final four the, that fourth spot is not set yeah. and we will see who's going to have it well the final four hopefuls are all going to be playing on friday that's a great day yeah. that's a great game day you're going to be here yeah. eric all right so uh, put that on your calendars ladies and gentlemen our director koyu panko for bailey's aquat my partner noreen go and eric Dupan. we'll see you friday as we see the uh, final games of the final four hopefuls of the invitational conference of the spikers turf